Hi and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can do a multi-cam split screen view in Final Cut Pro 10. So I've got a, a, a blank Final Cut Pro project here. I'm going to hold down Alt and N uh, and make a new event name. I'm going to call it Split Screen Multi-Cam. Uh, press OK. And it's over here, I'm going to click on that. Now I've recorded a little bit of me playing the guitar on three cameras and I've also used um, a little field sound recorder, an Eddie Rolled sound recorder to record the sound. So I've basically got four things that I want to uh, import here. So first of all, I've put the card out of the first camera into the computer. I happen to know this is my kind of main shot where you can see me and the guitar uh, and the whole guitar, the, everything going on. So I'm going to press Command and I, and up here on the left, uh, it's showing the camera uh, card, and this is it. So I'm going to just click on that, make it go yellow, and then down here I'm going to press Import Selected. And you can see up here the little dial that it imports. So we'll just speed ahead to where that's done. So that one's done, and we're going to eject it, and just go to the desktop momentarily, and make sure it's gone. Yes, that's fine. Pull that card out. Now we're going to put the next card in, and do the same thing. So the card's in now. It should appear on the left-hand side. There it is. Click on it, click down here, it's showing a funny uh, shot of the back of my chair at the moment, but obviously it will develop into a proper bit of video. So again, import all, and the dial goes round, and we'll speed ahead. So that's good, and we're going to reject that. Give it a moment or two to uh, disappear. Take the card out, and put our third camera card in. Same thing. Wait for it to appear. Here it is and import that. So it's all basic stuff, just importing cards, ingesting the material if you like. That's done, we're going to reject that and we're going to go to the desktop where I've got my uh, sound, there it is, just called sound. This is the sound from my field recorder for my little eddy roll thing. Just going to click down here, it says import selected and now I can close this window down up here. So here's our window where we can see our clips and we're just going to have a quick look at these and sometimes they don't show up straight away you have to click from one to the other uh, so this clip here let's have a quick look through it see what it is and I have I can see that that's one of my uh, kind of alternative shots that's my left hand where I'm holding the cords down this one is the main uh, clip so I'm going to go over here scroll down where it says camera name I'm going to call this main okay this one i'll call uh i think camera two and we can call it anything you want that's meaningful to you and this one i will call uh camera three it's actually me it's my strumming hand camera three okay now these names are not reflected over here in the clips, but they do show up in the inspector. So I'm now going to click on the top one, hold shift, click on the sound. So I've got all four selected. I'm going to hold control down and right click. And where it says new multicam clip brings up this. I could name this something, but you don't really need to. Uh, so I'm just going to click OK. And here I've got my uh, multicam clip. Just drag this into the timeline, making sure it goes all the way to the left, not here, but I think it snaps to the left anyway, but just in case it doesn't, make sure it goes all the way. And the next thing I'm going to do is hold Alt and drag up, makes a copy of that, and again, and I've now got, as you can see, three copies. I'm going to go to the top uh, copy and I'm going to grab hold of the sound uh, volume bar and drag it all the way down same in the middle one 
I'm going to leave the bottom one up and I'm going to control click this and it says active audio angle. Now I don't want the uh, camera sound, camera two, camera three main because the sound's not very really good off those. I'm going to choose sound which was the sound from my field recorder. So that's good, that's the nice sound on that clip. So I've got these three identical clips. The top two have the sound turned down, the bottom one the sound is left up and I've chosen uh, the nice audio for that. I'm going to choose the various angles for these clips. Before I do that I'm going to just change my workspace. So up here I'm going to go to Les Default. It's a bit of a nicer workspace to work in. Now this bottom one here, this is going to be my main one. Now don't choose the angle by clicking up here, that won't work. You have to hold control, right click it, active video angle, choose main. The middle one, same thing, control, right click, active video angle, choose camera 2, it's already on that. And the top one, uh, camera 3. So this one is camera 1, this is my main one if you like. This is 2, this is 3. Don't take any notice what's up here, that's not reflecting what's in the timelines here. So you can actually see on these three clips I've got three different things showing. Select the top clip, it's over here, and just let's go to actually where something's happening. So on this top clip I'm going to go all the way over to the left and you can see this kind of rectangle here, it says transform, going to click on that so it goes blue. And if I come over here, uh, you can see there's these little blue dots. And if I grab hold of the bottom left one, make sure you get that kind of double diagonal arrow and drag up and you'll see the clip below appearing. Now watch the scale um, in the middle at the top and wait for it to go to 50% like that. Now you can see we've got that clip. Uh, scale down and just drag it into the top left hand corner just a little bit fiddly I'm not sure if there's a way of snapping that but anyway there it is that's good now we're going to go to the middle clip do the same thing so make sure that double diagonal arrow comes up drag up and watch the scale drop to 50 percent a little bit fiddly there we go, and bring that down to the bottom left hand corner and just, you know, mess around with it till it's nice. Now you can see that my main clip is kind of appearing behind it, but you can't see me and you want to obviously see the main thing altogether. So I'm just going to grab hold of that and drag it to the right and get something that's sort of we want to see which is probably that, that's got my face and my two hands in the shot, it's about the best we're going to do. So we can now see, if I just click done, that we've got a nice uh, three-way split. This one here, if I go to the top um, and just go back to transform, it's not quite right, it's a little bit grinning at the top. I'm going to just take that up a bit. We can always tweak it a bit later on. Now. That's your split achieved, which is good news. And uh, you're now more or less ready to start making cuts on the timeline. By the way, if you get a bit uh, lost when you're doing this process of dragging these clips around, you can always press reset. If I just click on this transform rectangle, you can see there's a reset there and there's a done button. Okay, so that's quite handy if you get a bit confused or lost with it. Yeah, this isn't perfect, is it? This one here is not quite right. So we'll just, just tweak this slightly, it's a little bit off. And if you click done, you can see it's pretty good. That's close enough for what we need. Um, so our main clip is over to the right here. That's the nice big clip. And the two smaller clips are over to the left. So if we just start it, you'll see you've got three uh, clips all running together nicely. Uh, obviously, when I recorded this, I recorded it on three cameras, all uh, recording audio. So uh, when I imported uh, those clips and the uh, field recorder audio, uh, if you make the multicam and all the clips have the same audio, then uh, Final Cut Pro will sync all the clips 
uh, using their audio. And of course, the, the sound, the, uh, the field recorder sound, that's considered another clip. So basically four lots of audio were synced to make this. So if I run it, Probably want to bring this one over a little bit, uh, the main, because my uh, cord hand is just slightly out of the shot. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Yep, go over that. Click done. Um, so we can now start making the cuts. And this is where you start going up to the top left uh, screen here, the kind of viewer, and picking your shots. So if I run it, and I'm just going to pick a few shots. See that when I click on main, um, I've got what I want to be my main shot, me uh, and the guitar in both my hands. Uh, camera three is the split, camera two is one of the alternative shots. Uh, in this case, it's my uh, left hand showing the chords. So, camera three, this is the shot with the splits. In this screen here, of course, if I click on camera three, it's shown as a full. Uh, screen clip it's not shown as a split we only see it in a, as a split in the canvas where where it's actually going to end up is what we actually end up with once we've rendered our movie uh, the other two camera angles would be full screen uh, okay with no split and it doesn't matter by the way what what clip you've got selected down here because all the cuts are made in the top clip in the topmost clip so if you cut to main uh, you only see that clip. If you cut to camera two, you only see that clip. And if you cut to camera three, you've got your split. So in this split screen, uh, your main angle is over on the right, twice the size of the other two clips. Uh, the clip that you labeled camera three uh, will only appear as part of this clip. So uh, you can see over here, it's highlighted yellow uh, and it's this kind of strumming hand. The only time you'll see it will be as part of this split screen. Now, if you wanted to see this clip, camera three, this uh, strumming clip, if you like, filling the screen, uh, let's go to a bit later on in the actual movie. Uh, and we've already got that highlighted over there. Go to transform and press reset. Then that fills the, uh, the screen there. So if I run it. <laughs> that but earlier edits are not affected you can see there I've got the split so it only goes back to the last edit if you look at the dotted lines you see it goes to camera three now so that's that's pretty good of course everything after that uh, will show that full screen you've effectively lost your split there most probably you'd want to keep the split all the way to the end but you know that's something you can do if you need to but don't forget you can resize clips uh, as you go you know you can move things around uh, you're not stuck with what you've set up in that initial uh, split screen but you know it's up to you what you want to do and I should also say to you that your Final Cut Pro might not look the same as mine I've set my screen up in this way set my workspace up in this way so the buttons are where they are yours might be not quite in the same place, but you'll find all these controls in Final Cut Pro somewhere. So there we are, uh, a nice little split screen within a multi-cam. Now, obviously, lots of people do split screens just with normal clips. They drag onto the timeline, but it's quite a special thing to do it uh, within the confines of a multi-clip. Because the idea of a multi-clip, of course, is that you've got uh, uh, camera angles synced by audio and this is like an extra bit of icing on the cake. So anyway, I hope you found that useful and interesting. If you did, give me a like, uh, and I would ask that maybe you uh, think about subscribing to my channel, Daddy Longlegs. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and you'll see me in my next video.